Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial one of day two in the Neural AI Summer School. I, this is Douyin from Carnegie Mellon University. Today, we will together have a test of how people describe tasks for artificial agent or specifically artificial neural network. What do people mean? when they say they will train a network, and what do they mean when they say the network will learn, and how we quantitatively just measure their performance. Specifically, we will define a task, train the networks to learn them, and explore generalization performance. Okay, so in the first part, um, we will look at the task definition and the network's architecture that we will be using. So for artificial neural networks, different tasks are specified by cost functions. So we can imagine the neural networks or a biological agent as a processing machine. We feed them with a specific input, and we would like them to give us an output as we wish um, and expect. The cost function is basically the goal of the training or learning so as to well, we minimize the cost functions in minimize the difference between the output of the network and what we expect. So we will know the uh, details in a, in a notebook. In this tutorial, we will be using MNIST, which is a set of images of handwritten digits. Um, it has been widely used in the machine learning community. We will try the following task. First is classification, where we give a specific um, image of digits. We would like the network to tell us which digit it is. Second one is regression. With a specific image as input, we would like the network to tell us how many uh, on or off, basically white or black pixels there are in the image. Second one is auto encode. A uh, third one is auto encoder, where we will learn a low dimensional, nonlinear, and latent embedding of the images. The embeddings will capture the key features of the image, um, but it is highly compressed, and with that, we will um, be able to generate uh, or align the new picture, the new images to the original one. Last but not least, we will look at uh, self-supervised learning, specifically in painting. Here we will abstract our image with a small um, square uh, of a uh, mm, white pixel, and we would like our network to restore the image for us. Um, to do this task, we will look at a classic neural network called convolutional neural networks. Ever since it was invented in the late 90s, it has been extensively used in image and video processing. So um, it has a remarkable ability to capture the spatial and temporal dependencies in an image. That's pretty much the major reason for its popularity among them major reasons. Uh, as we might know, a neural network, um, each layer, each unit is a, a weighted sum of the previous activation, and, um, and we uh, pass them through a activation function. But for convolutional neural networks, people smartly design that we only use a local patch of information with a specific uh, with a set of specific filters that um, uh, do the uh, linear combination and convolution. Uh, this way, it is inspired by biological vision. Uh, it will make use of the local features in the image so that it will save us a lot of effort in the sense of data or computational power to do um, as well in a task.
In the second part, we will look at the generalization performance of the neural networks. So why at all we would we like to generalize? This is because the representations of the biological brain need to be general enough to perform different tasks. For example, when you were a little child, um, you learn what an elephant looks like on a comic book or cartoon book. But um, the very first time you go to the zoo, you can almost for sure immediately point out at a real elephant that it is an elephant, even though you have never seen a real elephant. So that's the fantastic power of human or biological brain. For our artificial intelligence, we would like uh, them to have the same kind of capacity. So here we will uh, take a first step to examine like how the uh, generalization performance are in our train network. Specifically, we will uh, use the network train on classification problem to say their auto encoding performance and also compare it with the network that are trained on regression task. Um, we will reflect a little bit on the difference in the performance in these two kinds of um, generalization paradigm. And um, we would like you to think about the reason that gives the difference. Okay. Uh, thank you for your attention and have fun with the tutorial.